What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost, and we don't talk too much about gaming on this channel unless it specifically relates to Star Wars, but I thought that this story about The Last of Us Part 2 has some relevance to a lot of things going on in entertainment, specifically in regards to identity politics, specifically in regards to the destruction of characters that people love in order to hold up other characters. And we're going to talk about a couple things involving the leaks around The Last of Us Part 2. If you haven't been following this story for months now, we've been hearing that the antagonists of this story were going to be a Christian homophobic cult. And then for our protagonists, there was going to be a lot of focus on their sexuality, specifically on some lesbian relationships between a few of the characters. And some people had problems because it seemed like the focus of the game was going to be about this rather than it just happened to be part of the game. And as always, a lot of people may have misgivings when it comes to things like that, but we have now confirmed a lot of things about this game. I did an entire very long video on Gaming with Geeks about the specifics in regards to the leaks, and I will put that in the description below for you guys to go check out if you want to know more. We're going to cover a couple things on why this is being considered like the last Jedi of this game series, and about how it may even creep into the HBO series. Now, that's more of a rumor from a source that I don't know if it's so that reputable. However, with the revelation that all this is going on with The Last of Us video game, The Last of Us show on HBO certainly seems to be headed that way. And if these things are true, it's just going to be an absolute shit show. But let's get into it right here. So The Last of Us Part 2 is a sequel to 2013's Last of Us, widely regarded as a great, great video game by both, uh, by both consumers and critics. And two of the characters you play are Joel and Ellie. Now, Joel, a lot of people have a lot of attachment to Joel, and they like him a lot. He had to do some bad things to survive in this apocalyptic times. But a lot of people still really enjoy his character and how he grew. Now, what we have been told and revealed in these leaks, and you can see here, Naughty Dog has confirmed these leaks are true. Naughty Dog, the developer, says, We know the last few days have been incredibly difficult. We feel the same. It's disappointing to see the release and sharing of pre-release footage from development. Do your best to avoid spoilers, and we ask you don't spoil it for others. Last of Us Part 2 will be in your hands soon. No matter what you see in here, the final experience will be worth it. Well, uh, I don't think a lot of people are going to agree with you because what you are doing in regards to identity politics and to this character. Now, um, I'm going to go, we're going to talk about a couple spoilers for this uh, because I think it's important. So I talked to you guys about Joel a little bit. What, the characters you'll play in the sequel, Joel will not be a playable character. Ellie will be a playable character and so will Abby. Now, Abby, a lot of people have speculated that it is a trans woman. That's Definitely what it looks like. Uh, there's no verification that I know of, but this is one picture of her uh, and this is another picture of her. This picture is important. Again, spoilers, because she is killing Joel. She kills a character that everybody loves and then you play her. She is a playable character for half of this game. Um, and then her and Ellie are basically trying to kill each other. You play as those two characters. All of the lesbian scenes that were talked about were confirmed in this leak. All of the focus on that and also the cult being a homophobic Christian cult, all of that was also confirmed in this leak. So a lot of people are really upset about this. Evidently, the person who leaked it was a developer at Naughty Dog Studios who there was a pay dispute. But with this, I wanted to talk about this rumor, now this is from Sausage Roll, again, not a site that I usually go to for reliable information. However, they have had some things on there before um, that have turned out to be true. They've also had a lot of BS, which is why I didn't cover it a couple days ago. But a Twitter user, David, sent me this. I wanted to go over this because it kind of seems like it may be in line with what's going on with The Last of Us 2, the identity politics associated with that. HBO's The Last of Us will focus on climate change and R word culture. I'm not going to say that because I think that triggers some algorithm stuff. Um, the Last of Us is getting the TV treatment and currently in pre-production at HBO. An insider has reached out alleging that the new series will focus on some divisive political issues like our culture and climate change. It will be a heavily female focused plot. Kind of revolves exactly like uh, The Last of Us Part 2. Sounds similar. 
Ellie will be joined by her first girlfriend, Riley, as well as Tess, Marlene, and Maria. Uh, men, while some indirectly, will collectively play a part as the antagonist. It was the action of the patriarchy, or rather white men, that inadvertently destroyed the society they had built with the cordyceps brain infection. According to the insider, CBI was made by the government, but evolved too quickly and accidentally leaked in the environment. Global warming caused the man-made CBI virus to rapidly evolve. It acted naturally, evolving to purify the air of carbon. Um, a bunch of things about flashback scenes. However, if the leaks are real, then The Last of Us Part 2 is actually about toxic masculinity, religion, and racism. And I think based on these leaks, a lot of that can be true. Uh, if you look at what we saw from The Last of Us Part 2, the video game. And there's something the insider claims will also be a strong part of the HBO series. Men are, are perceived as predators in the series, even the nice ones. The female protagonists often band together to avoid being left alone with men because all men have the capability of abusing their powers and giving into their carnal desires. Most of the girls have had some kind of traumatic experience with men. Now, this is of course a rumor from a site that's not super reputable, but when we look at all of these things involved in The Last of Us Part Two video game, and we start putting the pieces together, that could make a whole lot of sense for them to be the direction they end up going with The Last of Us TV show on HBO. Either way, even if that is not true, and like I said, this kind of gives more credence to that. Shout out to David on Twitter for sending me that tip a couple days ago. But the idea that they are taking this game. They've even said, a lot of the people working on it have said, it's going to be divisive. You need an open mind in order to experience this game. If you have a closed mind, you're not going to like it very much. Uh, already the warnings were out there about what this video game was going to be about, and this leak just confirms everything. Naughty Dog is getting a ton of blowback right now. You look at The Last of Us Part Two trailers on PlayStation's, uh, on PlayStation's uh, YouTube channel. Now, these were released years ago. They recently turned the comments off, both on the 2016 reveal trailer and the 2018 gameplay trailer. Comments are now turned off for these because of all the blowback they are getting. Not a surprise when you look at how ridiculous they have leaned into the identity politics, into the gender identity aspect of these games. People want games... They don't want these games to lecture to you. They don't want to be pushed this narrative. They don't want to see a hero be killed by someone like that. And could they find a way to explain it in a way that it makes sense for this character, Abby, to kill Joel? Yeah, it could. But with the way it's described and how it plays out in these videos, no one is happy with the way they have done it. But I wanted to talk to you guys about that. Like I said, we don't talk about gaming a ton. But when I saw this, when I talked about it on Gaming with Geeks, it just reminded me so much of the decimation of another, uh, you know, male hero that so many people did love. And a lot of people are calling this the last Jedi. Like, that's what they're saying they're doing to this character. But let me know what you guys think about this. That leak we talked about from that website about the HBO show. Do you think there's a chance that that could be true? Again, not the most reputable site, but when you look into what they're doing with the video game, it makes sense to me that might be the way they're headed with the HBO series. Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my PO box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.